at the end of this lecture you must be able to know what is anemia what are its various types and explain iron deficiency anemia and the megaloblastic anemia the topic for today is anemia anemia is defined as deficiency of the hemoglobin or low rbc count and the hemoglobin less than normal for diagnosing anemia we must know the normal level of the hemoglobin or the rbcs level of the rbcs in males is 5.2 million per cubic millimeter and the normal value in the females is 4.7 million per cubic millimeter and the level of the hemoglobin in males is 14 to 16 grams per deciliter and in females it is 12 to 14 grams per deciliter so whenever there is low rbc count and the hemoglobin is less than normal we will say it as anemia it can be caused either by increased breakdown of the rbc decreased production in the bone marrow it can be classified in two ways First is the clinical and second is according to the morphology. In morphological classification, we will see the RBC size, for example, MCV. In clinical types, it is has various types, blood loss anemia, which is also called as hemorrhagic anemia. It can be acute or chronic. In aplastic anemia, in which there is any bone marrow disorder. In iron deficiency anemia, in which RBCs fail to mature. In megaloblastic anemia, there is vitamin B12 deficiency and we know that vitamin B12 is an essential factor for the DNA synthesis and RBC's maturation resulting in, so their deficiency will result in immature big size RBCs or hemolytic anemias in which there is excessive hemolysis of RBCs, for example, in hereditary spherocytosis. In hereditary spherocytosis, RBCs become spherical shaped and they are very fragile. So, excessive hemolysis will occur. In sickle cell anemia, hemoglobin becomes sickle shaped, which causes damage to the RBCs. And in erythroblastosis photolysis, it is the disease of newborns, resulting in excessive hemolysis of RBC. Now, the most important is the iron deficiency anemia. We know that the most common cause of anemia in our country is due to the deficiency of iron. What are the causes of the iron deficiency? It can be due to the poor intake and diet. It can be due to the poor socioeconomic status. It can be due to the increased demand, for example, in pregnancy during lactation. Iron deficiency can be due to can be due to the parasitic infestation or any abnormality in the iron metabolism. The blood picture in iron deficiency anemia. There will be low hemoglobin level, low RBC count, color index will be normal, low, color index will be low. This color index, now, what is the blood picture of the patient suffering from the iron deficiency anemia? His, in CBC, we will examine for the hemoglobin count. His hemoglobin count will be low. His RBC will be low. Color index will be low. Color index is the percentage of hemoglobin divided by RBCs. MCH will be low and MCHC will be low. But the level of the WBC and the platelets will be normal. What is the clinical picture of the patient suffering from iron deficiency anemia? The symptoms are atrophy of the tongue mucosa, cone shaped nails, nails will be depressed from the center and turned up from the sides, angular stomatitis, dysphagia, and pallor. Pallor may be of the skin or the palm creases. Biochemical findings will be. Protein bound iron will be low, bilirubin will either be normal or even low. RBCs will fail to mature the age date of the disease. Deficiency of the mature RBCs in the blood and the bone marrow will be stuffed with normal blast. The effect of the anemia on the circulation. There will be increased cardiac output and peripheral vasodilation due to the hypoxia. Hypoxia occurs because there is low RBC count and low hemoglobin level. So oxygen is mainly transported into the tissues in combination with the hemoglobin. So whenever there will be hemoglobin deficiency, there will be hypoxia resulting in more increase in cardiac output. Hypoxia effects are offset by the 
hyper circulation at rest how the cardiac output is increased in anemia we know that in anemia there will be low rbc count so resistance offered to the blood flow is reduced resulting in more venous return to the right side of the heart resulting in increased stroke volume and the cardiac output and the bp will rise but in exercise workload on the heart will be remarkably high it will lead to the cardiac arrest what is the effect of anemia on the respiration in respiratory system rate and the depth of the respiration will be increased due to the hypoxia whenever there is hypoxia we know that there are peripheral and the chemical central and the peripheral chemoreceptors they are highly sensitive to the changes in the chemical composition of the blood so hypoxia will stimulate the respiratory center and it will in turn send more signals to the respiratory muscles resulting in increased in the rate of the respiration now the second most important type of the anemia is the megaloblastic anemia which is also called as vitamin b12 deficiency anemia what are the causes of it? most common important cause is the vitamin b12 deficiency and the folic acid deficiency suppose whenever there is damage to the gastric mucosa it will lead to the decreased secretion of the intrinsic factor we know that by this intrinsic factor is required for the absorption of vitamin b12 so whenever there is vitamin b12 deficiency it will lead to the pernicious anemia rbcs will not mature and big size immature rbcs will be present in the blood resulting in megaloblastic anemia it is the most common type of macrocytic hypochromic anemia what is the hematological picture of the hemo uh, of the megaloblastic anemia it is more common in the men of the middle age while iron deficiency anemia was more common in poor social economic status people there will be decreased rbc count and hemoglobin level but mcv will be more than 95 femtoliters and mch will be higher the mchc will be normal reticulocyte 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 count is decreased due to the destruction of the fragile and the normal megaloblastic erythroid precursors there will be an isocytosis poikilocytosis and macrocyte what is an isocytosis there will be increased variation in the rbc size poikilocytosis is abnormally shaped rbc the macrocytes are larger than the normal rbc there will also be the presence of oval jolly bodies which are the chromosomal remnants if we see the clinical picture of such a patient suffering from the megaloblastic anemia there will be pallor shortness of breath headache vertigo palpitations and spinal cord lesion if we see the biochemical findings of the patient suffering from the megaloblastic anemia their rbcs will be of big size they are immature they are very fragile and their life span is shorter but the bilirubin level will be higher and the bone marrow will be stuffed with the megaloblast type of the cells 